this was not from my heart. This was said by one greatest devotee, Devashinara. After all the scriptures describes Mahasri Vedapyat, we cannot say he wrote, he wrote the scriptures, no. Because scriptures is self-manifested. Only he was the medium. That's why all the wishes known as Shastra Drashtya. They have seen the Shastra scripture first and then they wrote this. And Mahashweda Vyas, he did this first. After he described, he wrote all the scriptures. He divided Veda in four parts. He describes the abstract of Vedas, Vedanta. Then, to keep the knowledge very easy way, he describes all the sutis, that means Upanishadas. Then also, then also, his mind was not satisfied. He was crying. <coughs> because you have seen that all the jivas, until that time, they are not really, their mind is not in, going in a way. Still they are absorbed in this material world. That's why he was crying, oh, maybe I did some mischief. But he could not recognize the mistakes. Where is this mistake? <coughs> then he got Guru Kripa, Devashinavad, he came to visit him. And he asked, Oh, Yasha, what is happening? Why you are looking like this? I think by mind and this girl, why you are not okay? Mahashwari Prashi said, Yes, Murde. Physically I am okay, but not mentally. Why? Because after I have taken this great work to describe all the scriptures, and this was not for me, I did this all for Jesus. Maybe I did some mistake. They are not going with it. Why? Today in Devarshan Harath he said, Nash karma makta chuta bhava varjitam na shobhate kyana malam niranjanam kutak punashasya gavadra mishare I know this all work was for Jesus. That was not for you. You did only for helping, helping them. But you know, maybe there has 
has no selfishness. There has no self-desire. But when your activity is not offered to Krishna, that means this work, this whole activity is costless. There's nothing. You will not get any benefits from this when your activities is not offered to Krishna. To describe this on scriptures, you throw all the jivas inside the ocean, but you did not show them the side, the coast. Which way they can get the coast? That's why they are now in a confusion. They are confused. Which way they are saying? Which way <coughs> they will get the coast? Have to show them. The coast is Krishna. After Devas Vinarada, he gave this advice, he advised, then Mahashi Veda Vyas, he describes Sriman Bhagavata. And this Sriman Bhagavata is the construct of all scriptures. Yes. Essence. Yes. That's why it's not Bhagavata known as Mahapurana. All the Puranas is known as Purana and Srimad Bhagavata is Mahapurana because they have everything. <laughs> How much we the Vasi know he realized this in Bhakti Yoga. Because there is an order, his guru there, he said that you have to realize why all the jivas, they should take shelter on Krishna. You have to realize by yourself. And then Mahashvayana Vyas, by Bhakti Yoga, he realized this. Bhakti Yogi Namanashi Shamya Praniti Mali. Apasya Purusham Purnam Mayam Chatad Vastrayam Jaya Sammahita Jeevo Atmanam Trigunatmakam Parupi Manute Nathyam Tat Kritan Jyavi Vartyate In his mind, they are saying that he is Purusha. Purna Purusha, Sri Krishna. <coughs> Maya and Jiva both are in the center of him. But Maya is not like Jiva. Tat Avasarayam. No one can see but can realize. There has something. When Mahashu Vedugyas, when he realized that, okay, by Maya, all the jivas, they are thinking in that way. That means Maya bewildered the mind. <coughs> and that's why they are lived here. But by Maya, they are thinking they are anitya. They are eternal. But by Maya, they are thinking they are from this material world. And only by Krishna's mercy one can get free from this. 
one can get liberation from Maya. Otherwise, no one can get this. Then he explained, then he described Srimad Bhagavatam. this to stretch it in the Mahaprabhu Prabhu. In Srimad Bhagavatam, they have written that only by Bhakti one can get the mercy of Sri Krishna. Only by Bhakti one can get Krishna hundred percent. Krishna will be for the sadhaka who will worship Krishna in pure bhakti. <coughs> Krishna will give himself. That is bhakti, that is Sanatana Dharma. In Srimad Bhagavata, Nimi Maharaj, in the eleventh canto, Nimi Maharaj, he asked this question. Narman Bhagavatan Buddha, Yadi Nak Surdekshama, Enavajavindra. Please explain about Bhagavad Dharma. If we have this ability to hear, please explain. Jit Prashanna Prakanyaya Vashtya Panopaja. I am asking, asking about this Bhagavad Dharma by which. Swam Bhagavan, he can give himself to the Sadhakas. <laughs> this Bhakti Gyan is the highest and the state of all knowledge. Because by bhakti, you can get Krishna, and when Krishna is yours, when you have this knowledge about Krishna Tattva, then all this knowledge will be self-interested inside your heart. Because all the rishis, they say to Brahmadev, and Brahmadev also said this to all the rishis. First, Brahmadev is saying that Gopi Yana Valdhava Jnani Nathiram Bhati, by the knowledge of Gopi Yana Valdhava, by the knowledge of Krishna, you can get all knowledge. When you have this knowledge, when about Krishna Tattva, then all the all the these millions of knowledge will manifest in your heart. You have got to try to get them. When you have knowledge about Krishna Tattva, that means you have all this other knowledge. That's why we have to keep this knowledge about bhakti in our heart. Not in our heart. We have to keep this realization in our heart, but knowledge in our brain. Because by bhakti jnana, 
Bhakti Gyan will support to develop our Raganga Bhajan. But at the same time, she will need something small. She has to get all other knowledge about Jnana, not all, about Yoga, not all. Which part will support your Bhakti? Only this part. Because Rupa Goswami is saying this in Bhakti Goswamrita Shantu. About Uttama Bhakti. Your Bhakti should not be covered by Jnana and Yoga. Is that? Anya Vilasya Dasanyam. Jnana Karma Jnana Vrita. Jnana Karma Adi Anavrita. That means you can accept some part. You can accept some part which will support your bhakti. Inside your practice, there has some parts. This also like yoga. We are doing pranayama. Is that? We are doing dhyana. Is that? In our daily practice there has pranayama, dhyana. This is all the part of yoga. But in Bhakti Yoga, we accept this part from Yoga, but we are using to develop our Bhakti. Because without meditation, you cannot chant with Lila Swaran. Is that? For Lila Swaran, you need this meditation. For this eightfold past times, you need this meditation. Without this meditation, no one can go inside of this. But this meditation is the part of yoga. That means in bhakti yoga also, in bhakti shasana also, we are accepting so many things from other path. But such part which will help our bhakti. In this way, we have to continue our bhakti with knowledge, with jnana, with yoga. That's why Srimad Mahaprabhu. He sent, he gave, he advised this knowledge. This knowledge you should keep in your brain. The next, first he asked these questions about Vidya, that means the seat of all knowledge. Then, keep the Ramam of the Jivir Umbaru Kitti. What is the greatest activities in this material world? What is the greatest activities? Ramananda I answered. Krishna Parimo Bhakta Guri Jarhai Khen. Who will get this title as Krishna Parima Bhakta? Who will known as Krishna Parima Bhakta? How should get this 
this activities is the greatest. This activities is the highest activities. Because by activities, one can be immortal. By life can no one can get this immortality. Is not? You can get this immortality by lifetime or for one, not possible. Yadashavi Dhruva Mrityu. When you go, that means that is fixed that you have to die. Yadashavi Dhruva Mrityu. get this mortality. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he asked this, what is the greatest activities, by which activities one can get this mortality? Because by lifetime no one can get this mortality. But I said, yes Prabhu, one can get mortality by worshipping Krishna. Who is known as Krishna Prima Bhakta, she will get this mortality. Krishna Prima Bhakta, if you will say devotees, Krishna devotees, Krishna Bhakta, it is not enough. It is not enough to get immortality. There are three stages. Bhakta. When you are just saying that devotees, Bhakta, that means he must be Krishna Bhakta. These all other words, Shiva Bhakta, Shakti Bhakta, no. This all words is wrong, completely wrong. You cannot say Shiva Bhakta. Who is Bhakta? Who is Timothy? Bhakta means store of Bhakti. Is not? Bhakti Adhar Jai Bhakta Bole. Bhakti Ratha means the pot. Who is the stone of Bhakti? He is Bhakta. Bhakti is beloved of Sri Krishna. Bhakti is beloved of Sri Krishna. If you are taking shelter on Bhakti, Bhakti will take you to Krishna, not to Shiva. Because he is beloved of Krishna. Is that? <coughs> that means, if you say Shiva Bhakta, this word is wrong, completely wrong. Bhakti will not take you to Shiva or Shakti. Yes, you can say, they are Shiva Shadhaka, Shakti Shadhaka, not Shakti Bhakta, Shiva Bhakta. This devotee, that is this Bhakta, is the most general mantra. Who are following Bhakti Bhakta? It's a normal way, like duty. That a born in human form, that means you have to worship Krishna. And they are worshipping Krishna. That duty. No attachment, no feelings, no realization. Maybe they have something fear. Oh, if I will not worship Krishna, then she will not give us 
so many things. For this next year work, I will get so many problems. So I have to worship Krishna. For not getting the problems in their life, that generally put him. Then, next part, Krishna Bhakta. and we 
we touch this stage, this Ratnavedi, by your crown, and which sound will be there, distinctive sound, to touch by this crown and this Ratnavedi, when this sound will be come, distinctive sound, you must accept this sound as your brain. They have said that in Brahma. They love to see these appearances. They are Krishna Bhakta. They love to worship Krishna as Swam Bhagavan, as great king. But this devotion also will not get you immortality. Then the other stage, Krishna Premagatta. Who is Krishna Premagatta? Shukadeva Goswami, he describes very nice words. For describing some stories, the leaders and servant Bhagavata he used that you know Krishna had one devotee. Like Sadamika. Krishna Shyashi Dijasrashtra Brahmana Brahmavitama he started. When he was started this Lila of Sri Dhamma Vipra, it is maybe 10 canto 81 century. It is started in 80. And it is continued in 81, 82. And it started in that way, Krishna Shyashi. You know, Krishna had this devotee. That means all these devotees are the property of Krishna. Great treasure of Krishna. Krishna is the treasure of devotee. But this all devotees is the treasure of Krishna. That's why he is keeping in a good way this all devotees. Chiro Krishna, he has this devotee, Sridhar Mahaprabhu. Sometimes when he started about this story of Sruta Deva Rashi. Then also he used this word, Krishna Shashi. Krishna is this devotee. When one is keeping something in a good way, well, <coughs> which things we should keep in a good way, which is very important for us, is not? We are not keeping wasted things. We are keeping this? No. We are keeping such things which is very important for us. When Krishna keeps these devotees, that means this whole devotees is the most important for him. They are known as Krishna Parivaha. Who is the treasure of Krishna? How they got this stage, Krishna Premagha? Why they are known as Krishna Premagha? Because <coughs> their devotion, their prima was 
only for Krishna. If they are not thinking about themselves also. They are thinking always for Krishna. They are taking force, they are sleeping, they are smiling, they are crying. All their activities, even all the daily activities is for Krishna, not for them.
they are trying to please me and all of this I am trying to please my devotees. How much are me? Krishna Chatur, but 
grew up in Krishna. Krishna is trying to hide this prema from them, but they are stealing this prema from Krishna. All of your devotees. That is the greatness. That's why. And Krishna loved this to be defeated by this by those devotees. Who is worshipping Krishna with love? And that's why when Sukadeva Goswami, he was just crying the stories with the uh, Shakar Prema, he said, in a joking mood, oh, Parishi, you know, Atta Krishna Bhagavan Siddhavan Parajita. Krishna was Supreme Godhead. He was defeated by Siddhavan. Siddhavan defeated him very easily. He tried. He tried. In wrestling, Siddhavan challenged Krishna to come. We are killing all the Asuras and maybe some ego is coming in your heart and you are showing this to us. Right? What do you, do you think? That you have so much power? All these people in birds, they are also thinking that you are not uh, this uh, normal common boy, they are thinking that uh, maybe you are a devil boy. They have to know. But inside of you there is nothing. Come to me. I have to prove that you are nothing. Show no connection. This perfect. Wrestling. Krishna cried. With all his opponents, with all his samatha, he tried to defeat Sri he tried with his this power as a covered one. Then he tried with Bhagavan power. But he cannot. He was failure. He was failure. He was defeated by Sridham. <laughs> And after Sridham he defeated Krishna, he said, Now, you have to say to everyone that you, you are agreed that you have nothing. <coughs> when he was saying this word to Krishna, that time he was on the chest of Krishna. <laughs> he was on the chest of Krishna. You have agreed that you have nothing? Okay, okay, okay. You must say this, all these Vrindavasis, that you are defeated now. You are defeated by me. Krishna loves this. It was not against of his mood. He loves to be defeated by his devotees. He loved to defeat all the Asuras, to protect his devotees, but at the same time he loved to be defeated by his this kind of premi devotees, premik devotees, Rashika devotees. He loved to be defeated in a love game. Not only this playing, not only in wrestling, he loved to be defeated by prema, by love. That's why always his, he was running to Srimati Radharani to apologize. That's why his 
said to the gopis in Rasa that no power I have not the severity, I have nothing. I cannot exchange your love. Because I have nothing. In front of your love, I cannot compare anything from me. If you want, then you can you can accept me as your servant. What you will say, I follow your words. If you say, Krishna do this, I do this. If you say, Krishna just go and sleep, I sleep. If you say, that Krishna stand up, I'll stand up, I'll follow you all words. But if you say, Oh Krishna, you took so many things from us, we offered everything, our love, our mind, heart, everything. Now you have to give something. Have to exchange. But I cannot do this. I have no disability. Because I have nothing. <coughs> In front of your love, Krishna love to be defeated in love also. In Ramana Bhajan, what we are practicing? We are practicing this love. We are practicing to get this love. That's why when we go from our mature life to spiritual life, then this Raghavanga Bhajan will be you can make a start to 100%. Because most, this prema, this practice, you have to start from this material life. Vishnu Pujyao Jodhi Jivet Dharapari, all the words from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. You have to follow this. When he asked about our spiritual life, about our shasana, about dharma, he was answered that there is not so many things. Jivedaya. Name Ruchi, Vaishnava Shiva. These three. First, love to everyone, all the jivas. Jiva, not only the human, all the jivas. You should love all the jivas. If you have love for everyone, then you will get this test of Harima. When you have no love in your heart, you will not get the test from Mahamantra. Because Ahamkara and Prema, they are Vipavita against each other. Where is Ahamkara? There is no Prema. We have to go inside this Prema Shindhu. We have to play in Prema Shindhu. We have not to just go above this water. No. I am 
Ankara is like an air pillow. When you have this air pillow tied on your chest, you cannot go inside the water. It will take you up. How much time you will try to go in? It will take you up. So we have to take out this area from our chest. We have to destroy this all egos.
Swami Diksha and he made some chapatis by this and he offered this to Vitthama. After Buddha, when he tried to take this prasha, it was there on a plate, this chapatis and then he went inside it to his hotel to bring some water and one of came and he took all these chapatis and ran away from this place. After he came back to Karam and he found there is no chapatis and this dog is run away to take his chapatis. Then he also followed these dogs. And he was saying, Oh, Gopal, please come back. I give you chapati. But you know, till now I did not put any buttermilk on it. That will be very hard for you. Please come back. I put some butter on it. And then you will not eat this chapati. He was calling this dog as Gopa. Can you imagine? He was saying bitter love inside this dog also. That's why he was calling this dog as Gopa. That's why he was taking, if you will eat these chapatis, then it will, it, it will give some pain to his mouth. Because these chapatis were so hard. In this way, Sadhakas has to see Krishna inside of everyone. When Shataka will see Krishna inside of everyone, all living entities, then they will get the service mode. Then they are helping will not giving charity, but service. Shiva. Then they will do this everything. Like Krishna Shiva. In our sadhana, Radha Mughal Bhajana, that is not all that we are worshipping Krishna. Also we have to worship devotees. Then our worshipping will be hundred percent, otherwise not. In Srimad Bhagavad Gita, in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Parishit Maharaj, he said this, how one can get this highest success for his whole senses. <laughs> he said this to Shukadeva, Shavak. Jayapasya Bhagavan Karinite Karucha Tat Karma Karu Manascha Smarit Vashantam Sthirajam Gameshu Srinoti Tat Punda Kathasha Karna Shirostu Tashur Bhairinya Vaname Tadeva Tat Pashati Tadvi Chakshu Anjani Vishnu Rathatat Janana Parugatan Yani Bhajanti Nityam Shugadu Kushwami, he asked to Parishit, Parishit, why you want to listen to Krishna Gatha? Why? This Karma 
conversation before the stories of Sindhavan Dupra, you know, in chapter 80 in Jain Kanto, Srimad Bhagavad. This conversation before this. Because for Sukhata Goswamija, he started one new leader of one leader of Baladin Chandra. And all these listeners was there, these devotees that means their wishes, <laughs> headed by Parishad Maharaj. This all listeners was really surprised. Because that is the mood of Prima. Akui Dava Krishna Prem Jamu Jambu Nadohim Shri Prima Nilo Kena Hoi Jodi Hoi Tar Jog Kogu Na Hoi Vyog Vyog Hoi Likhe Kuna Jyoi Akui Dava Krishna Prem Very Pyog Krishna Prem is very pure of going to one. It's like a pure gold. Shri Pramana you can find this Prama you cannot get here. You cannot <coughs> get here. If anyhow you will get this Prama by the mercy of Guru and devotees by the mercy of Krishna. If you will get in your heart, then it will never go away from your heart. It will never go away from your heart. If it will go away from your heart, then you will die. That is the mood of Krishna. When, after long time, after long, all the past times of Krishna's, when Shukadeva started the leader of Parada Chandra, suddenly they got this separation, feelings of separation. And Parashit Maharaj, he asked to listen so more Krishna Deva, more Krishna Deva. And so the, he asked, why do you want to know? Why do you want to listen more Krishna Deva? Then he answered this, because without Krishna, no one can make success their senses also. Then he answered, Sabak, about tongue, about ears, about mind, about hand, about eyes. What is it? What is the great success of our tongue, of our ear, of our eyes? Is it only connected with Krishna or there is something small. Shubhadra Goswami, you are surprised to see this realization of Parikshi. You are surprised to listen to this all realization of Parikshi. Oh Parikshi, you are really great. What I said, you realized Exactly. Yes, you are right. What was this realization? What Parishit Maharaj said? We will know more. Yes, the tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Parishit Maharaj will explain this all, the success of our senses. Tomorrow. Sarvam. Jayakasya Gunan Guruditi. Kirtan, Sravan, Smaran, 